it is 3 20 at night so everyone is going to bed that means that i am going to make a lot of noise and start building my new house Hey everyone, welcome back to Jack's Life. Jack's hair has been reverted to a bacon hair since the new update. I don't know where my hair went, but we are back to the bacons. Now, last week we took everything out of our house and we emptied it because we are going to move out. It's so dark in here. But this was a very sad moment for Jack, but he was so done with the house that he wants a new one. And that's what we're gonna do today. So first off, I am going to go to work because I need that moolah to build a new house. And and I need my moods up of course. This will be quite an interesting task cooking when everything is on the street and I hope it doesn't rain on everything because you know we're kind of poor and uh, do we actually have something in the fridge because it's quite late already so I hope that I can just take uh, I don't know something yogurt ish not not something that I have to heat up we're, we're gonna have to make it quick because I want to go to work and I'm going to do a pizza delivery because that makes me the most money and I do need quite some money when I'm building a new house so I hope we will be able to manage that otherwise we're gonna have to sleep in the living room or something but I definitely am looking forward to starting this new house house and then I just need some fun and some energy so I'm gonna oh my god my TV is turned the other way okay let's just imagine watching TV having a mirror here or something I did not know that I turned my TV that way okay and my hygiene has gone down a little bit so let's just sit on the toilet for a little bit longer and my energy is draining as well I don't know why it's probably I don't know what it is but okay let's take my bike and let's go to the pizza delivery or let's go to the pizza planet at least and I am going to work quite a bit today because I want to make like, I don't know, $10,000 in total. So that means I will have to make 3700 We are going to build a house, so I know we were going to fix the sleep schedule, but this is important. We need a new house, so probably Jack is gonna pull an all-nighter this time. But let's just start work. Actually, I need a closer delivery. Let's just start working and see where we get. So I did end up working a little bit longer than expected, but then my deliveries were super close, so I had to get them. So let me just hop off my bike. We made $4,772 doing this work. That brings our total now to $11,118, but we do have some bills to pay. And of course, we have to get some grape juice. It is 3.20 at night, so everyone is going to bed. That means that I'm going to make a lot of noise and start building my new house, and I'm super excited to start doing it. So I drew something out on my iPad. It is very bad. I will include it in the video if you want to see it. So let me get my grape juice. And I was reading the comments last week and someone said, you really have to go to the nightclub every time to get a grape juice. And I was like, yes, of course, I need to do that. This is a must do. Um, I don't know why I do it, but I have to. So let me just drink that on my bike. Don't, don't do this at home, kids. And now I'm gonna go home. It is almost 4 a.m. Jack is going to be so tired after pulling this all-nighter but it's going to be so worth it and I hope we can at least when he goes to bed we can at least sleep inside that will be very nice and I'm kind of hesitant between should I go into the buildos or should I remove the walls manually because I'm kind of scared of what will happen when I do buildos I, I, I'm scared that I will lose a lot of my stuff but I'm willing to take that risk. Why is there a skateboard here? Oh my god, someone broke in. Is my stuff still here? I hope my stuff isn't stolen. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay, I think I got all my stuff here. Oh no, you haven't paid your bills in time. I need to pay my bills. And we still have over $10,000, so that is very, very nice. It is time to go into build mode and remove the house. Okay, let's see what the buildos menu says. I'm kind of scared to do it, so options. Okay, and then I want to remove doors. No, 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 no. I want, no, I don't have basement. I want to keep none of this. Wait, walls. But then my shower will be gone. 
Oh no. Okay, well, a, a few things will disappear probably. I'm going to keep appliances, beds, cabinets, probably everything that we have here. And I feel like my shower will be gone, but then we will just buy a new one. I feel like this will be a lot easier. So I'm just gonna be keeping this. Objects, wait, is, is gardening in there? Garden, okay, remove the garden. Wait, but that will remove, I'm, I'm gonna keep the garden, yes. Continue, Jack von Berg. I am scared. I am definitely scared to press it. Okay, let, let's do this. Okay, so it worked. Our shower is gone, so we were right about that. We still have the dirt piles, which is nice. And now we just need to remove this stuff right here. And that brings our total budget to 17,981. Definitely enough to start building a house. So I had the idea. Let me go and draw it out real quick. So this is what I had in mind for the general shape of the house. So this will be the living room, the garage, the hallway. This will be another hallway and then this the bedroom and then right here we have another piece of wall. So if you want to copy this, I will leave it at this for a little bit. And then this will be the bathroom. But I might actually change this part right here because to me it is quite weird. I might just open this part up. So let me go out of build mode. Let me go back into it. It's already 9 a.m. Definitely pulled an all-nighter there. So I might actually do this, but that is quite weird, isn't it? Okay, I will make this, this, and then what if I remove... Oh, let me go out of build mode. This is quite the struggle, you guys. So what if I remove this and then I create a hallway something like that? It looks more like a hallway now, so that is better. And then we can just access the garage from here. Uh, I do want French doors, but they are so expensive, you guys. So the garage is not gonna have a French door, but I do want like a French door that opens up into the living room. That would be so, so nice. So let me go to the smallest French door. See, that is just so nice. I love that so much. Let's just do that. Let's spend Jack's money. And of course, we're not gonna have a French door. Oh, that is a front door. We're not gonna have a French door to the bathroom because that would be quite weird if you could just look inside. Then this is the garage. And then this is the bedroom. And then I had the idea to make a big glass wall right here. So a three by three, and that would be the living room. So I think I would like that quite a bit. Oh wait, let's not add a window in there just yet. So as you can see, we are reusing quite a bit of materials that will save us a lot of money in the long run. And then I thought the kitchen would be here somewhere. I think that would be really nice. So since we do not have advanced placement, the kitchen part is going to be a little bit tricky, but we will try and manage it. Actually, let's just keep it like this and we will find a solution for it. I'm probably, um, I don't know what side I should do it on though. Maybe this side. I'm gonna fill this up with a window. This will be really nice to look outside while you're cooking. And then I want a kitchen island, of course. And actually, yeah, I'm just gonna be replacing. I know I said last time that this is like the first thing that you reuse because it's very expensive, but we do not have a lot of counters, so I will just make them all fit. And I hope this one fits in here. Okay, yes, it, it did fit in. That is absolutely perfect. And then of course we have the sink from the previous house. So I'm gonna take that sink, maybe on this side. Wait, what, what side should I put it on? No, this side. And then I want some cabinets as well. And then of course we need the dining room. So I'm gonna reuse my old table. We might replace it in a while. I'm not sure about that. I just went ahead and added in some chairs into the kitchen as well. I really like it so far. And then we have that carpet. I'm going to use that for the kitchen table. So we might change the kitchen table to a longer one soon because right now we have this empty space right here. It would be nice if that could be 
a nice dining area for Jack. And then of course we do need a front door. <laughs> I almost forgot about that. Does that one fit in here? Okay, it fits. And then we need a garage door too. Oh wait, those are indoors. Oh my god, that was so dumb. So Jack will finally have a garage. Let's put the bike in there. If we can pick it up. Wait, this is the bike. Okay, let's just put the bike at the front because we don't own a car just yet. Then we have the toilet over here. Just gonna put that in the bathroom somewhere. And of course, we had that shower ID last time. I was gonna take it with me, so I am going to take it. We are going to use the door that we used previously. This bed, I don't know, how much is a double bed? $500, let's actually get a double bed for Jack. He deserved it. I just got reminded when I used to play The Sims 2 and you didn't have a floor in your house, when it rained actually just like grass started growing inside your house. It was quite nice. <laughs> okay, let's just reuse everything that we already had. And then the desk is gonna go into the bedroom once again. Right next to that is the closet, of course. And then we can start adding some lights in. I don't know if we'll have enough lights for every room in the house. Just gonna do the rooms that I will use the most. So far, so good. Now, I want some fancy lighting in the living room so it looks at least a little bit expensive. So that's what I'm gonna spend a lot of money on this time. Okay, I wish I could put it a little bit closer to the couch. Okay, that works. For the ceiling light, I'm gonna use this for the living room because I think it's a nice shape for, for living rooms. And I'm gonna paint them in the linen color because otherwise it's going to be a very orange house. And then what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start creating some floors. So we have a lot of diagonal walls, so I will do it manually. So what I do for my floors is I create shapes that don't have diagonal floors in it because otherwise my floors can glitch. So every time I build a house with diagonal walls I just do this, create rectangles and then fill in the final gaps afterwards so my floor doesn't glitch out. Oh my god, I was adding in a floor and I accidentally right clicked and now I have this. For now I'm gonna keep this shape right here because I'm so done placing manual floors. This can be so annoying. So let's just go on to the roof part and I do want a gable roof. So let's see how that one looks. So currently, this is what the house looks like. We have this area under the house that you can walk under. And this is just for privacy reasons, but I might change that in the future. And actually, it's already 2.40 a.m. So let's just go and see what we have done. So we have a garage now. Oh, no, no, please, no, no. Don't let me be stuck. <sighs> Let's just open it and let's wait. I need to have patience. So this is the garage. We don't have a light in it yet, but our bike is here. Then this is the hallway that we're gonna have. I can turn on the lights right here. So this is our front door now. This is quite nice. I like this. And then you open this French door right here and you come into the main living room. I will add a door right here because our backyard is actually going to be in the back of the house this time. And then this is our living room for now. We went 
to the garage already. Then this is our bathroom. It's not the biggest bathroom, but it's big enough. And then our bedroom right here. So Jack got a double bed and he's gonna jump right in it because it is quite late. I'm quite happy with the house. I will go into build mode one more time so you can see if you wanna copy it. So if you want to take a print screen or something like that, you can count the squares so it's easier for you to do. Now this is it for today guys. I hope you enjoy this new house that we are building. Let me know in the comments what you think. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button and please subscribe.